Hello and welcome to the Stopcocks channel. We've got tutorial videos, introductory videos to our plumbers and all sorts of other things. Please scroll through them and enjoy them. Once you turn the heating off, boiler, find a drain off point, attach a hose, and drain off the system. Then you open the bleed nipples on each of the radiators with your radiator key and you can hear the air going out. That's the radiator empty. And you do that for each of the radiators. So I need to identify the flow and the return. What I've done is I've found the boiler and I can see the pipes going down. If you look underneath the boiler, it labels where, which pipes are which. I identify that this is the flow to the heat from the heating and that is the return back to the boiler. So I'm preparing the radiator for hanging. It's always easier to do this before it's on the wall. Identify which end you want to be the flow of the return. So a rule of thumb when using PTFE tape. Hold the thing in your left hand Take the PTFE so that it comes off the bottom like this. Begin threading it like this. Then wind it round about 15 times. And then simply just pull it. If you hold it that way, you'll always get the PTFE wound around the correct way. You don't have to kill yourself tightening it up. When it stops being easy to pull, that's usually enough. Uh, another rule of thumb is to put the, the bleed which will come with the radiator in the opposite end to where the flow is. You don't need to put tape on here because there's a rubber. So simply and again you don't need to be excessive with the tightening up. Again, you don't have to go crazy, just until it stops. Okay, now our radiator is prepared. We want to make sure we get the radiator dead centre. So we measure the windowsill. It's 42 inches or 107 centimetres. Mark the central point, 21 inches. 53 and a bit. Just mark, make a little small mark there. You measure from the centre of the radiator to the centre of the bracket. That comes to 37 centimetres. Where we've marked, we draw a very faint line. You want the bottom of the radiator to come to here. So we mark a line there. That's where the bottom of the radiator is coming to. The distance between the bottom of the radiator and the bottom of the bracket is eight and a half centimeters. So then we measure. Again, using our central line, eight and a half centimetres. You can mark that quite firmly. That's where our brackets are going to come to. 
and begin marking your line. So 37 from there. Now we have these lines. This is where our brackets are going to go. So, grab your bracket. Doesn't matter which way up they go. They can go either way up. So, mark up against your bottom of your line there. Always helps to have a small spirit level handy. Your small spirit level. Line it up. And draw. You'll be able to see this better on the next one I do. Mark where all the holes are. coming as close to the wall as possible. I need to mark where the pipes are going to come out. So I'm using a small spirit level and I'm putting it on the middle of the valve and when I level it up it will tell me where the centre of the pipe needs to be coming out of the floor which is there. So now I know that the floorboards I need to target are this one and I've already marked this one over here so now we've hung our radiator just put One side and then the other side. Right. So I've got all the other radiators. Now I'm bleeding this one. Okay, now that's full. Just check now that there's no leaks. And there isn't. Now that we're happy we've got no leaks, push the carpet back. Now I just need to fit the carpet around the pipes here. Back onto the clippers. Job done.